I'm Alex, and this is A Fresh Experience. Welcome back for part two of the Ludwig Farmstead Creamery episode of A Fresh Experience. We're gonna head inside and meet Fonz and learn how to make some cheese today. Well, Fonz, thank you for having us here today. Well, you're most welcome. Well, Fonz is the expert cheese maker here at Ludwig Farmstead Creamery. Now, Fonz, how long have you been making cheese? I think about 20 years. And you started in Holland. Holland. Yes. And how long have you been in the United States? Right now, 10 years, and before that, three years in California. But I've been working all around the world for the past 20 years. And you make all of the cheese here by hand, correct? Correct, yes. So. All handmade, true farmstead, which means that we basically make it right from our own milk. Well, why don't you go ahead and show us how to make some cheese today? Well, let's do it. All right. So that's our milk tank. That's where we have our fresh milk stored in. Yeah, so we're milking the cows twice a day. So on, on a daily basis, we get about 200 to 240 gallons. Around that, that in pounds, that is, let's say, roughly around 2,000 pounds every day. We process that milk immediately. We're not letting that sit anymore, uh, longer than it needs. And that gives us a very nice freshness, a very fresh taste in our own cheese. Again, the cultures are very important to preserve the milk and also to cause, to give the flavor of the cheese. So the rennet, these are the enzymes which are going to make, make the milk set. Now the moment the rennet goes in, you only have about five minutes max, absolute max, where you can stir it. And after 25 minutes, we're gonna test it. We're gonna do a setting test with a knife. And then to see if it's strong enough, and if it's strong, then we're ready to cut the curds. And as we're moving it, as we're working it, it actually is going to firm up. And what we want is to have these curds that they, it's a process called cinderaces, and it's actually the contraction of the curd. And during that process, it actually starts pushing out the whey, and with that, it also pushes out the sugar, which is an important thing. And so with that, we want to accomplish that the cheeses are getting the right moisture content and the right acidity, the right sourness. And by the end, by the end of the process, they're much smaller. They're actually, they've become from shiny. They actually have gotten this kind of matte color and a little bit in white, they're actually turning to a little bit creamy color. Everything is about making those curds smaller and make them dry. Get the whey out, get the moisture out, get the sugar out. So that's what we've done. And now the second part is that the curds are ready. So we're gonna remove all the whey. Okay. And then the next step is to mix in the spices okay. and put them into the mold. Okay. Yeah. So this is a mixture of our uh, special for the mustard cheese. It's the brown mustard with some garlic, some coriander, and some uh, uh, chili. Turn them again, and then they go under the press. It's always amazing how you know you go three hours ago you still had milk, now you have fresh cheese. So the key thing for the press is really to uh, press a little bit of that whey out, which is still in the cheese, and the other very important thing is to close the rind. Wow, I can't believe just a few hours ago we started with raw milk and now we've already got some cheese. And now this is the final step of the cheese making process. So what do we do next? So basically here, you know, what you see is the cheese is being pressed. We went from milk to curds and now the cheese are being pressed right in the hoops. We're getting a nice, really nice little shape, nice closed rind. And from here they go into the brine and then we go to the aging room by the finished product. Let's go see it. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. so here we have the finished product. This is our mustard cheese, which we made. And uh, so it goes into this room, and this is a completely climate controlled room. So we have the right humidity, the right temperatures, airspeed and everything, almost like a cave. And this cheese, because it's a raw milk cheese, we're going to keep it here for at least 60 days. So two months, 
but usually we age it actually up to three months. And then it goes out to the market like Piazza. And it's ready to, and ready it's to eat. Ready to consume and use it for everything you want. Well, Fonz, thank you again for having us here today. I love Ludwig cheeses, and I was so excited to come here and make cheese today. So tell our customers which varieties are available through Piazza Produce. Well, basically, Piazza carries all our cheeses, so that's great. And we have our hard day cheeses, which are the Kickapoo and the Feather Ridge. Then we have a really nice variety of semi-soft cheeses, which are the Jake's Wheel, uh, which we have the Jake's Wheel in all kinds of flavors, the habanero, the mustard, which we make today. Uh, we also have a gardener. And then we also carry the Gouda. Uh, and then we have our special cheese, which is the Vermilion Rip Blue, and our Double Cream, the Sagamon. So they're all in your sort. Right. Well, this wraps up our double feature with Ludwig Farmstead Creamery. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make cheese. I know I did. Thank you for joining us again. It's been another great episode of A Fresh Experience.